just, I've got mental clarity. I don't get dry skin. I don't have mucus in my nose. I don't wake up with crust in my eyes. I just, I don't have earwax. I just, I, I'm alive. I'm absolutely healthy. Food, when it's alive, when it's raw, it contains all the enzymes and it has the most electromagnetic energy. And that's it. If I eat more high uh, vibration foods, then I put more energy into my body. You're lacking some of the major things we need in our diet. And they are things like uh, omega-3, the fatty acids, that's iron, calcium, vitamin D. And certainly people like this because fruit tastes good because it's full of sugar. But this is not the human diet. You'll find me no populations of people throughout all of human history that lived on a raw, raw diet or a fruit diet. What up, homies? It's Mike coming at you today with something new. All right, fruitarian challenge. What does that mean? It means I'm only gonna be eating fruit. All right, so first things first, what is a fruitarian diet? The fruitarian diet is a highly restrictive vegan diet. People following this program eat a diet consisting primarily of raw fruits. Vegetables, dried fruits, nuts, and seeds can also be eaten in moderation. Other types of foods such as grains, legumes, should be severely limited, and cooked food of any kind is avoided. So I am very excited about this. Um, if you don't know already, I live in the coastal city of Da Nang here in Vietnam and it is a fruit paradise. I mean, they've got everything here. I'm talking jackfruit, durian, mango, pineapple, avocado, sapoji, like they've got everything. I've been living here for a year and a half in Vietnam and I haven't even tried all the fruit because there's so many varieties and so many things that I just look at at the market. It just looks scary. Some things look like so big, like jackfruits and durians, for example, they're so big and spiky. It's like, it looks like some kind of weapon, like the, the turtles in Mario Brothers or something that are trying to end my life. Access to fruit is obviously not going to be the hard part. Problem is me. And I like a bit of saltiness, you know, I like a bit of savoriness in my day, you know, right around dinner time. I like, you know, I like a little bit of mushrooms, some rice, some tofu. I like, I like some of that around dinner time. So it's going to be interesting eating fruit for dinner. Should be a cool experience. Also, I live above a vegan restaurant. It's called Chickpea Eatery, one of the best vegan restaurants. Uh, in Da Nang by far. I'm not just saying that because I live here. Like they make their food with quality ingredients and it is absolutely delicious. I mean, they're cooking tofu and rice and fried spring rolls and all kinds of good stuff. And it just like, every time I go out my door here, I got to smell what they're cooking and it's going to be like, oh, so tempting. Fruit, 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 fruit. I can do it. So why am I trying this? There's a lot of mixed information out there on the internet, in the world. So, decided why not try this fruitarian thing for myself and see how I feel, you know? So first things first, we gotta go shopping for some fruit. Shopping for some fruit. Shopping for some fruit. Gonna go eat some fruit, gonna go buy some fruit, only eating fruit. Yeah, we're shopping for some fruit. Let's go shopping for some fruit. Shopping for some fruit. Let's go shopping for some fruit. Shopping for some fruit. Too soon, I 
Out of a watermelon, white dragon fruit, red dragon fruit, pineapple, some banana chips, some dates, passion fruit, passion fruit juice, bananas, avocado, cucumber, and orange, lime, tomatoes. Woo! And we'll see where that gets us. Fruitarian meal here, the first of many. Banana mango smoothie bowl with some super ripe red dragon fruit and some bananas and raisins on top. Just got back from that beautiful waterfall, decided to fix me some dinner. So you remember how I said I like savory things around nighttime. So I went ahead and fixed myself some of this delicious guacamole. And guac is actually fruit based. So we got avocados, that's a fruit, tomatoes, fruit, lime, fruit, fruit based. And I don't have tortilla chips. Instead, I got cucumber slices. Not quite the same. I like tortilla chips more. But cucumbers are also a fruit. So we got fruit, fruit, more fruit. So I'm gonna eat that and I'll see you in the morning. Peace. Well, 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 what do we got here? So I tried to get a little bit more creative with my lunch today. Instead of just eating a smoothie bowl, I made uh, what is some kind of Asian zucchini. I don't know, it's, it's weird. It was, it was really big and I chopped it up into like what are supposed to be noodles and I made like this avocado and basil dressing. Got a little watermelon for dessert, so. Uh I toss and turn, I keep stressing my mind, mind I look for peace, but see I don't attain What I need for keeps, this silly game we play, play Now look at this Madness the magnet keeps attracting me, me I try to run, but see I'm not that fast I think I'm first, but surely finish last, last Cause day and night what up homies? It's day three, the final day of the Fruitarian Challenge, and so I decided to invest in something a little special. So for tonight, I got myself a little jackfruit. It's pretty cute, but it, uh, ugh, it's dangerous.
So I've only eaten jackfruit a couple of times. I don't think I've actually bought my own, like a whole one like this, even though this one's kind of small. And I've never taken it home and like cut it up. I've just bought a jackfruit that was like already cut up. So this is gonna be my first time, you know, slicing one up. So uh, this thing smells funky. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and cut this open and eat it. Cause I don't want it in my house any longer. At least let me put it in the fridge, like no more. Let's get to work. Where do I cut this thing? Just in the middle, I guess. Vertical or horizontal? We'll go vert. Oh, it's really sticky. Wow. Ah. This thing is ugly. <laughs> So I cut it into smaller pieces. Maybe we'll just take some out. I've had this before, this isn't my first time. But it's my first time kind of opening it up. Oh my god. All right. Oh, that is so sticky. And it makes such a weird noise. I don't know how I feel about that. I've had jackfruit before, but maybe this one was more ripe. Seems that way. <laughs> Get another piece. What's that? A seed? Trying to kill me. All right. Yeah, I got better. It's actually pretty good. All right. So I think I'm gonna enjoy my jackfruit and uh, probably go share this other piece with uh, the family that I live with downstairs. Cheers. What up? So just finishing off day three with a little uh, banana mango smoothie bowl for dinner. Mm. So now I'll go ahead and talk about how I feel after doing this three day fruitarian challenge. So I gotta say, during this whole thing, I was kind of hungry, like all the time. I really never felt satisfied like I do when I eat cooked food. I always felt like I could keep eating more. And that's what I did. Honestly, I don't think there was one full hour where I wasn't eating something because I was always like reaching for a banana or some dates. Mm. Shout out to dates. Dates were a lifesaver. I ate like a whole big jar of dates over the span of just a few days. Oh man, those things are so good. So yeah, there's something I never really felt full. Another thing is I didn't really look up any kind of creative recipes during this. I just kind of ate the same thing over and over again. If you notice just a lot of like <laughs> guacamole and the same smoothie bowl, like three days in a row. So for me, the meals were kind of boring, but it was okay because it, it was food that I like, so it, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, maybe if I was more of a experienced, like raw fruitarian person, then I could have made some more interesting recipes and uh, I probably wouldn't have gotten so bored. Anyway, let me tell you about the positives I felt from doing three days of fruitarian. So, I don't know if it's mainly today, like right now, I just feel really happy, like, <laughs> like, like almost high. Like the feeling you get when they put the morphine in you before the dentist like takes your wisdom teeth out and you get really happy for like two minutes and then you go to sleep. That's kind of how I feel right now. Not, not that strong, but yeah, maybe it's just all the, all the sugar from the fruit, but it's just, Today, especially, it's given me a lot of energy and just a lot of positive vibes. I just uh, been feeling like just kind of up all day. It's great. <laughs> and also, eating fruit for three days has just like given me this realization that I don't need to cook 
food. Like I could totally live and survive without cooking food, never. I think I will start incorporating more raw foods and more raw meals, you know, fruit or not, like fruit and vegetables into my diet. Might even start doing like one day a week fruitarian, fruitarian Fridays or something like that where I just eat fruit only for one day a week. That would, that would be pretty nice. I could, I could get down with that. So that's it. You know, for me, I love fruit and it has been a, it's been a pleasant experience doing this challenge. But I like to eat a variety of food and I don't really like limiting myself too much. I'm not going to go on to be 100% fruitarian but I'm jealous of the people that are because if they feel like this happy all the time like I do today just eating fruit and they have this much energy, mm, I'm jealous. I'm definitely jealous. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more stuff. I got a lot more ideas rolling so more content coming soon. Thanks for watching. Peace.